Yo, what is up, everybody? We are back with some more Snow Runner. We just got like two more contracts here in Alaska. We're almost done. This one we're doing logging. Is this what they wanted us to do after the last one, or not that they wanted us? What the game picks automatically, since I'll make it kind of selects the next one. We're gonna go ahead and do it. We only gotta deliver one thing of medium logs and one thing of long logs. That seems simple enough, you know. Just two trips, one medium, one long. I got two trucks out. Right now we're driving the Step 310E, I believe is what's called. Um, we're driving it right now, set up for the long logs. I got my Royal still there at the garage, um, equipped for the medium logs. And we're gonna do this, do two trips. But we are in White Valley and it has to be delivered to Pedro Bay. This means we have to go from here Mountain River then to Pedro Bay. Once we get to Pedro Bay, I believe we gotta basically go all the way across the map. And to get from here to Mountain River, we have to go all the way across this map. Once we get into Mountain River to get to Pedro Bay, we gotta go all the way across that map. So we gotta go basically all the way across the map on all three maps, both trips. So that's a lot of driving. Hopefully we don't have much problems. I know a mountain river will be on highway or at least good roads. Enjoy the time. This one we should be once we get this picked up and get back out on the road. So we'll be leaving this little area the same way we came in. So hopefully we'll be able to do it. And I chose the step here and went ahead and went with it with the long logs instead of the Royal like we did last time because it was showing that it had better power to weight ratio. So I'm hoping that that will help out and we won't get stuck as much since we got more power and things. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. It, it, it's not seem like it's going to help too much right now. I haven't looked too much into Pedro Bay exactly how we're going to go about getting to where we need to go. My, Take some decent roads, we might take some shitty roads. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. I kind of know the general idea. I think it's in the bottom right corner where we got to drop it off at. And we're going to be starting the top right corner. I know down in that area there is some mud, but I don't really remember the map all that well. Like road conditions anyways. I kind of know about where everything's placed at. But yeah, we'll figure that out once we get over there and see how we want to tackle it. Oh, it probably would have been best to start with our medium log so we can kind of check it out then instead of having our long logs. I feel like the long logs going to be more susceptible to being stuck. Eat away. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Wish me luck. If this is your first time stop by the channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. I upload a new video every single day, a new snow runner video at least once a week on Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, this is, this is what we're doing. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you don't like it, then feel free to hit the dislike button. Leave me a heavily worded message. Make me regret all my life's decisions. And uh, yeah, feel free to click off the video, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to stick around and keep watching if you don't like it. I know some people do that. It's, you know, <laughs> all the power to them, I guess. Just know if you don't like it and you stick around, you're helping me out. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I know some people take this shit too serious. And I'm just like, eh, fuck it. It's all right. I know I've had people message me on Facebook and shit, which I don't have Facebook anymore. Facebook was being on one and want to do some stupid shit. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I ain't going to worry about it too much. Oh shit. We need to do that. Oh, come on. It is. Thank you. They're not going to fucking go. I was hoping popping in low would help. Uh... Like we might slowly be moving. Maybe. Maybe not. 
Yeah, I know I've had some people mess with me on there before. I got that taken away. I mean, it wasn't my choice. Facebook's just, it was on one and fucking deactivated my account. I think I made a video or whatever. Probably not going into too much detail on the channel, but when it happens, just, I know a lot of people on here, other creators and shit I was friends with on there. I was like, hey, <laughs> I didn't delete you or anything. Facebook's on one. For some reason they think that I'm not who I say I am. Even though whenever I did all their little confirmation bullshit, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, you, you seem to be the person that you are. And then fucking told me it didn't look like anybody had hacked my account. I'm thinking, okay, so nobody's hacked my account. I am who I say I am, which is the whole reason y'all deactivated my account because y'all saying I wasn't. And now y'all saying I am, so that means it's all good, right? And they're like, mm, no. <laughs> I was like, all right, whatever. I ain't gonna fight y'all. I ain't fucking worried about it. But yeah, I know people take the shit so serious. People's messes me or whatever. Like, hey, you need, you know, start doing this in your videos or do this or do that or whatever. You know, it'll get you more views, get you out there more. This and that. It's like, eh, whatever. Fuck it. That's too much. You don't need curses often. Blah blah blah. You don't need to say the f word. That's bad. Oh, oh fuck! I didn't know that. Ah, this is it's all good. People that like me like me for me. I ain't gonna fucking put on a show. I try to tell people that I know. I had some people comment every so often. If you're one of them, and I appreciate it. But I've had people comment or whatever, and I respond, and they're like, "Oh man," but most people don't even fucking respond. I mean, I try. I ain't no better than y'all. Yeah, that's how I try to live my life, you know? I'm me, 100% me, and I, I guess you could say I st try to stay humble or whatever. I, I don't think of it like that. I think of it just me just being, <laughs> being me, and you know, I, I don't think I'm all that great or anything. I don't care how many subscribers I get or how many views I get or anything like that, you know? I'm just a normal person, just like anybody else. So. Uh, yeah, I'm like, if you comment on my videos, I will more than likely respond, depending on which comment is. Yeah, I know I get some comments like in other languages, I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that says. So I'm just gonna like and heart it and leave it at that. And I will do that on every single one, regardless. I will like and heart every comment, regardless what it is. Regardless if it's spam, if it's an actual message. Someone talking shit, trolling, whatever. All right, <laughs> all good. Uh, I try to respond to most comments. It might not be that same day or something. It might be later on. I know now that YouTube has a thing about not informing me time to time about comments and things. I just happen to see it later. I'm like, oh hey, somebody commented on this. But I, I try to get to it, you know. To turn off all wheel drive, I don't really need that. All this road basically all the way up to the tunnels. Alright, so we made it over to Mountain River. Pretty good. We're about halfway through our fuel though, so we're gonna fuel up. I don't know if we're gonna hit up this first fuel station or if we're gonna wait. I feel like waiting might be the better. Back. I don't remember there being a fuel station in Pedro Bay. Oh shit. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think there is. If there is, I don't remember where it would be at. Was it somewhere off in the north left, northwest corner? Hmm. Somewhere in that area, maybe? I, I I don't remember. I know there's a place where we can get spare parts. I think you can get repaired there, but I don't remember actual fuel. Well, there might be, but I, I don't remember one. But we're going to wait until we get to the second uh, fuel station up here. 
since we kind of got two now since we've already passed that one <laughs> but we're going to get fuel up there that way we have the most fuel going into pedro bay and then we'll assess the damage that's going to be <laughs> inflicted upon us and how we're going to go about it once we get there that's my goal anyways that's what i'm planning on doing but yeah we're going to stop at the service sub up here i mean we didn't take much damage just some suspension it looks just like a hair eh, you know what fuck it it's just a hair of it. Our tires might have took a little damage. I don't like how it doesn't really show that circle around it. It just waits until one's completely bad and then it's like, all right, yeah, it's red now. It doesn't have the little circle like everything else does. But we should be all right. I mean, our engine's good, fuel's good, gearbox is good, suspension's mostly good. And I almost fucking drove right into that, wasn't paying no attention. Every other fucking time. I don't know what it is about that one, but that one. For some reason, I just want to drive right into it. Have to catch myself the last minute. I'm like, oh wait, <laughs> there's a hole here. I guess I got so used to Michigan where that's at, it's not as deep or as hard. If you just drive right into it, you kind of drive into it, get across it, and call it good. And this one, nope. Fuck yourself up that way. All right, so we're over in Pedro Bay here. We gotta go, I think, yep, way down here, warehouse. Now, we go this way. This is mud, or dirt. Remember thinking that was a uh, pavement? I remember this now. Keep forgetting, but this is a wooden bridge. And we'll be on it. That might be our best bet. Service up over here. Fuck is over here. Wooden planks. Did I lose some over there at one point? No, I think I added it to the fucking loading platform instead of the truck or trailer or something. That's what happened. Trailer over here. Or yeah, there is no uh there's some metal beams I lost at one point. There is no fuel station. That's gonna be fun. But yeah, I guess that would be best bet. I mean, we could take the blacktop all the way around here. I think it does get the nowhere mud for a little bit, I think. If I remember correctly, and then gets back to blacktop. Over to ice and then take the dirt. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and say fuck it and go this way. All right, let's see how difficult this is. Yeah, and we probably should have fucking took our medium log truck over here with the Royal. And, uh, seeing how all this was with it. Uh, I don't really remember it being too bad this way, though. I, I know it has some dirt. I do remember that. I do remember that wooden bridge because I forget that every other time. Until we pull up on it, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was thinking it was a actual better bridge. But I do remember that. But at the same time, I don't really remember having too much problems. It might get a little sticky here and there, and we gotta kinda winch on the stuff and pull. But I don't think it's too bad, if I remember correctly. Hopefully, we'll be alright with this all wheel drive. Especially since this thing does have, I think, Superior or Supreme or whatever. I mean, it's got, like, I guess, the best uh, power to weight ratio whatever rating there is hopefully you can manage well let's go and if we can get it with this then we should most definitely be able to do it with the royal which i know the royal's not as good with the hard away but it's gonna be lighter got a shorter fucking frame without the trailer but we'll have a higher center of gravity so that's something we'll have to worry about especially on this map since I know there's that little tip area right there when we come into the map before we got onto the ice I try to be careful with that so we don't tip the fucking truck 
But besides that, I believe everything else is mostly kind of flat. It shouldn't really give us too much tipping issues. Unless we're kind of bouncing around everywhere. Oh, come on. Really? There is absolutely nothing for me to winch onto. Maybe will that get us forward a little bit? I don't know. Not much, it doesn't look like. Ah, uh, yeah, that ain't fucking helping at all, is it? Alright. Huh. We do have chain tires on this thing. Doesn't help in snow. Maybe we should have seen if we could get mud tires on this. I know the Royal, I don't think we could. I think I looked at that last time. And best we could do is off-road, which would probably have been all right. It had the same stats as the chain tires. Here we go. But I know mud would be better chain tires in the mud. You know, it has better uh, stats or whatever, I guess you'd call it. Uh, oh, well. I guess it's kind of too late now. I'm not about to recover this thing all the way back in the garage just to throw some better tires on it just to have to go get more long logs but this isn't just a trailer with it on it'd be just sitting on the ground and I wouldn't be able to fucking attach this trailer unless we got rid of the logs and I would just basically have to start all over so yeah I ain't doing that and then after the next contract we ain't gotta worry about no fucking chain tires this is something I'm going to have to try to keep in mind. Because I know I'm going to fucking forget all about it. Or not be thinking about it. Be driving some fucking truck in Russia. With fucking chain tires on. Going through all that mud and shit. But there ain't no ice over here. I do know that some of the DLCs, I believe. Um, also have ice and snow. So we'll have to use them in those locations. I don't know which ones. I haven't really looked into it too much. I know I've seen all the trailers for the DLCs. I own all the DLCs. I just ain't ever played them. Well, as y'all can tell, and I've mentioned before, once we get done with Alaska, we'll go back to Tamir, Russia, finish that up. And then after we get done with Tamir, Russia, then we'll go start on the first DLC and make our way through all those. Come on. Didn't really want to pop it down and low. About oh, this. Should work. But yeah. So there still be a point in having them. I'm not going to sell the tires. I know you can sell uh, parts and things if you don't need it anymore. I ain't going to sell them because we will at a later point. Come on, damn it. All right, let's go ahead and fucking drop it down to low. The flock. Gonna work here. Doesn't seem like it's really wanting to go anywhere. Oh, oh, I've seen it. Here we go. Sometimes you gotta kind of zigzag and serpentine a little bit. Start getting some traction. Pushing down some of those ruts and or climbing them, I guess. There we go. Oh, that's the worst part. That's not that at all, really. Yeah, I think we should be alright. Oh, wait. Are we getting on blacktop up here? Forgot about blacktop being up here. Oh, it was dirt the rest of the way. I'm pretty sure the road going to leading up to the warehouse loading area is dirt but we're not gonna be on blacktop very long but I forgot all about that oh hell we're about there too uh yeah right here's where we turn this is right back there behind those trees okay yeah we didn't stay on blacktop very long I don't know why I fucking cut through the snow that was a bad idea Come on.
You know what? I wonder. I don't wonder if fucking guy thinks. I mean, he's having to do all these fucking jobs. I think I've said it probably before. I know I've heard other uh, people say it when they play this game. I know my wife said it watching me play this and shit. I wonder what he thinks about having to do all this shit for people when nobody else is doing anything. There's not even anybody else on the roads. Like, what the fuck did they do before we came around? Like, for real. Having to fucking take boo to people, having to go get people's cars, having to fix bridges. Like, how were these people living their lives with all these bridges being out and everything else? I know, like, Michigan is supposed to be like a flood or some shit, so, I mean, it's not like they've been <laughs> living their entire lives without the bridge. But still, it's like, come on. Why are you relying on one person to do all of this shit? Listen to the fact there's nobody else in here. Like, we are the only person in the fucking game. Oh, we get all these contracts from other people and tasks and shit, but actual people we are the only ones in the game no npcs or anything like that there's just us uh just a thought oh, we're coming up here this is final little stretch and we'll finally have one load delivered i think i'm going to recover this thing I don't know what trucks I'm going to use next time. I might try to use that, uh, was it a twin steer or whatever? The one with the long bed. I might try to use it. I can't remember how many pieces of cargo we got to deliver next time. I know we got lots. Or I say a lot, like probably like four or five, some shit. I don't know. Um, or at least different things. So, I mean, there might be, who, who fucking knows? I didn't pay much attention. I just know there's a list. But we might try to drive it, maybe. Yeah, well, we can do with it and get a lot delivered at once. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see here. There's that. There's no trailer store over here. We're just going to delete it and recover this thing. All right, here we are back in Watt Valley. Driving the Royal. I'll pick up these medium logs here. I don't know I set out the markers for that last trip. I set them out for this trip as well, right then. So I ain't gotta stop and set out markers. Any points? Come on, let's get back up here. Here we go. So yeah, this should be hopefully an easy trip. Um, that last one wasn't too bad. It might seem long. I knew it was going to be long since we basically have to drive all the way across three maps and we got to do that again. We got kind of bogged down a little bit in the mud there on that last one over in Pedro's Bay. So we might get kind of bogged down close to those same spots with this, but hopefully not as much since it will be lighter. I'm just hoping I don't bounce around too much. We are going to be op heavy and fucking tipping. But we'll have to kind of watch out for that. But besides that, it should be pretty fucking easy. So we got the medium logs here. Looks like it's starting to get fucking dusk. Sun's going to be setting before too long. And getting that fucking pinkish glow going across some of this. I might have to skip some time. I'm going to try to wait until we get to Mountain River, though. If it happens to get dark on us here, so be it. I don't think it will. But once we get to Mountain River before we start that little journey, I think we'll go ahead and skip some time. And I think I'm going to do like I did last time and hop at that second uh, fuel station and fuel up once we get there. And depending how much of a beating our fucking truck takes, we must stop at the service hub. We managed not to have to last time. Yeah, I see myself fucking bouncing a little bit here. I'm not liking that. I'm not too familiar with this road. I know I've drove it a couple times. This isn't the main road that we usually take. Come on. I don't know why I got all wheel drive on right now. Let's turn that off. Save a little bit on fuel. 
I got some, some suspensions. I oh, see, kind of started tipping a little bit. Who's going around there? At least leaning. I was like, ah, I do that. That would be bad. All right, so we're gonna turn here. All right, back on familiar territory now. All right, so we made a Pedro Bay. I have any problems in Mountain River? I stay over here. I don't want to go too far over there. I mean, that kind of looks like it slants as well. We're gonna kind of drive from this median a little bit. Not really a median, but oh well. <laughs> it kind of looks like one. Kind of in that medium, the middle area. We made it through all right. We did go ahead and fuel up once we got to the second fuel station over in Mountain River. We did not uh, repair ourselves since it's about like the other ones, kind of a few little minor things on our suspension. We should be all right. We're on, like I said, we're back over in Pedro Bay, so we should be fucking in the home stretch here. But I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch. I know how fucking things can go. Go ahead and turn on all wheel drive. I've taken some turns pretty sharply. It looks like we started fucking dipping a little bit. Or at least leaning that direction. I've been scared that we was going to fucking flip it. But we haven't yet, so hopefully we can keep from it. I think it's slow around some turns, which right now in all the mud and dirt, we're, we're going to be able to go as fast as what we was on the pavement. Since we're going to be in dirt and shit most of the time anyways. Come on. All right, yeah. Like I said, it looks like we're going to be able to make it through stuff a lot easier with the Royal than what we was with the Step. And even though the Step had better power to wait. I don't know what its other stats were or whatever. But this is a lot lighter since we got just medium logs instead of long logs and having to pull a trailer and all that. It's more compact. That should help us here. Got this little mud patch up here. And this is the main area where we got bogged down in last time. I guess like the worst area when we got bogged down. I'm back there some, but right here, the main area, it looks like we're down through it all right right now. See once we get on up here, how it goes. Right, that wasn't too bad. We, we made it through there fucking ease, huh? All right, so our main concern is just not to flip it. Right here is the fucking black top. That means we should be about here. And this trip's going by a lot faster than that last one. So once we get on the blacktop, we just kind of go straight to that one place. I don't know if it's a factory or wherever the fuck that was. Got to turn right here. And I basically go straight back and then turn left and we'll be there. It's not fucking far at all. It's just on the side of these trees. I'll probably where that marker is, maybe a little bit past it. Where we gotta turn and kind of start our way that way. Nope, not quite here. So maybe on up here. I was around here. My bad. I was wrong. Oh hell yeah, it is. Try right here. I say I think it's right past it. I didn't put a marker right here. Put it a little bit closer back there. All right. Yeah, now we just follow this road. It kind of curves back and. Head straight to that fucking warehouse. Oh yeah, I mean, this wasn't bad at all. I was afraid we was gonna get kind of bogged down a little bit. I wasn't afraid. I, I figured we was gonna get bogged down. I figured it'd be as bad, but we, we made it through there. Didn't have to switch out fucking auto down to low or anything. We haven't had any. Real issues about bouncing or almost tipping. 
I've seen it lean a couple times, but nothing where I had to actually use my winch to try to catch ourselves or anything. There we have it. There you go. Yeah, the Valley Pipeline building. That's what we're going to do next time. What is that? One, two, three, four, five. It's like five items we got to fucking deliver. Like just one of each. Oh, hell, that probably won't be too bad. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos in. Leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, peace out. Yeeley. Everybody love everybody.